What if I told you that you could significantly boost your testosterone? We're talking doubling or even tripling your levels with just half a pill every other day. And what if this method was not only effective, but also preserved your fertility and didn't cause the dreaded testicular shrinkage associated with traditional treatments? It sounds too good to be true, but it's a method backed by clinical science. And today, we're going to break down exactly how it works. Welcome to our channel, where we explore men's health with clear, evidence-based information. Our goal is to empower you with knowledge so you can have more informed conversations with your doctor. And on that note, a quick but very important disclaimer, this video is for informational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with a qualified healthcare professional before considering any new treatment. Now let's get into it. If you're watching this, you probably already know the signs of low testosterone. You're feeling tired all the time. Your drive in the gym and the bedroom isn't what it used to be. You're experiencing brain fog, and maybe you've noticed a bit more fat around your midsection that just won't go away. You want a solution, but the standard options can seem daunting. This creates what I call the testosterone dilemma. For younger men, the biggest fear is fertility. The last thing you want is to shut down your body's natural hormone production, especially if you're thinking about starting a family down the road. The idea of becoming permanently dependent on an external source of hormones is a major concern. For older men, the concerns are often more practical. Many have a fear of needles, and who can blame them? The daily or weekly gels can be messy, inconvenient, and come with a serious risk of transferring the hormone to your partner or children through skin contact. And just like younger men, they worry about becoming reliant on a lifelong treatment. These are all valid concerns, and they all stem from one fundamental problem with traditional testosterone replacement therapy, or TRT. To understand it, you need to understand how your body produces testosterone in the first place. Think of your body's hormone system like the thermostat in your house. Your brain acts as the thermostat. It constantly monitors the temperature, which in this case are your hormone levels. When the brain senses that testosterone levels are where they should be, it's comfortable. Your testicles are the furnace. Their job is to produce the heat, your testosterone. The brain sends a signal down to the furnace, telling it to turn on and start producing heat. Once the room reaches the right temperature, the thermostat sends another signal to turn the furnace off. This feedback loop is constantly working to keep everything in balance. So, what happens when you use traditional TRT, like injections or gels? You are essentially putting a giant, powerful space heater right next to the thermostat. Your brain's thermostat immediately senses this massive amount of external heat. It panics and thinks, it's way too hot in here, and it immediately shuts off the signal to your body's furnace. It tells your testicles to stop producing testosterone entirely. And when the furnace stays off for too long, it starts to get cold, dusty, and eventually, it shrinks from lack of use. This is testicular atrophy, and it's a major reason why many men avoid traditional TRT. Now, the pharmaceutical-based method we're about to cover is a powerful alternative for addressing this. However, I know many of you are looking for a completely non-pharmaceutical, 100% natural path to restore your performance first. Because of that, I wanted to quickly share an eye-opening video that reveals a bizarrely simple seven-second home remedy. It's designed to reverse the real scientific root cause of male performance issues, helping thousands of men restore rock-solid hardness and unstoppable stamina naturally, without risky pills or injections. If you want to see it, you can watch the free video presentation right now by pointing your phone's camera at the QR code on your screen. I have also pinned a direct link for you at the top of the comments below. Okay, for those of you ready to explore the powerful medical alternative we're discussing today, let's get back to it. So, if turning on an external heater shuts down the furnace, what's the alternative? How can we tell the furnace to simply produce more of its own heat? The answer is a remarkably clever medication called clomiphene citrate, often known by the brand name Clomid. Clomiphene is what's known as a selective estrogen receptor modulator, or SERM. That sounds complicated, but here's what it does in very simple terms. It goes up to the thermostat in your brain and puts a blindfold on it. Specifically, it blocks the brain from seeing estrogen. Because your brain can no longer see the estrogen, 
it gets tricked into thinking your overall hormone levels are dangerously low. It thinks the room is freezing cold. In response, it sends a powerful, continuous signal to your furnace, your testicles, screaming, turn on. We need more heat. Produce more testosterone. This is the crucial difference. With clomiphene, you are not taking testosterone. You are stimulating your own body to produce more of its own endogenous testosterone. Your furnace works harder, preventing it from shutting down and shrinking. And the results are not just theoretical, they are proven. In clinical practice, it's common to see testosterone levels double or even triple from their baseline with this treatment. A man starting with a testosterone level of 300 could easily see his levels rise to 600, 900, or even over 1,000, all while keeping his own system online and active. So, how is this treatment practically applied? Clomiphene citrate is typically sold in 50 mg tablets. This dosage is actually designed for female fertility treatments, where a high dose is needed for a short period to induce ovulation. For men seeking a testosterone boost, this dose is far too high. The effective, off-label dose for men is much lower. Most studies and clinical protocols use either 12.5 mg per day or, more commonly, 25 mg every other day. This is where that half a pill comes in. To get a 25 mg dose, you simply split a 50 mg pill in half. This is why it's helpful to find a brand that is scored, meaning it has that little line down the middle, making it easy and accurate to split. A common brand like Clomid is scored, which is very convenient. You take half a pill one day, skip the next, and take the other half on the third day. This dosing schedule also makes the treatment incredibly cost-effective. A single box of 1050 mg pills, when split in half, provides you with 20-25 mg doses. Taken every other day, that single box will last you 40 days, making this one of the most accessible and affordable treatments available for raising testosterone. Let's quickly summarize the full spectrum of benefits here because they are significant. First, you get a powerful and proven increase in your body's own natural testosterone production. Second, because your system is still active, you preserve your fertility and sperm production. This makes it an ideal choice for men who still want to have children. Third, you completely avoid testicular atrophy. In fact, your testicles may even slightly increase in size because they are working harder. And here's a bonus benefit for those of you who have watched this far. Because this method stimulates the entire hormonal axis, it can also lead to an increase in the volume of other seminal fluids, which can result in a noticeable increase in ejaculate volume, a welcome side effect for many men. This approach offers a powerful alternative for men who want the benefits of healthy testosterone levels without the downsides of traditional TRT. Now I want to turn it over to you. What other questions do you have about this? Are you curious about long-term use, potential side effects, or how it might interact with other medications for performance? Drop your questions in the comments below, and I'll use them to create future videos. If this video gave you a new perspective on managing your health, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel reach more people who need this information. And be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching. Stay informed, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.